beautiful people, hello coders, developers or just tech enthusiasts. How are you? Today we are going to do day 3 of daily UI and it's creating a landing page. Um, we don't have anything specific to do, so we can pretty much do whatever we like. For inspiration, I thought that I could take a look at Shopify and here it is. So I've already opened that page and this one is an image. Uh, this one is the only input that I'm going to be using and you have a button and then down here you have like three columns. So this is something that I'm going to try to recreate it. I've already opened that image right here. It's transparent, so it's going to be working fine. And then I'm also going to have open the AngularJS material as I'm going to be using Angular, AngularJS, sorry, and um, my framework, my UI framework. It's going to be the AngularJS material. So I'm going to keep these three tabs open in um, my other monitor, so I can start working right here. Um, again, so far I just have like, let me write it here, day three, landing uh, page and daily UI. Okay, oops, not like that, daily UI. Okay, um, I have my template ready which means i have a background i have here some headings and my standard uh footer this is something that i always use so you can find them upper here like I have my head and then the body in the body i have just this um layout with landing page then i have the working area which is the whole work i'm going to put it like inside here and last but not least i have my footer with links and stuff now in the CSS, I have the body with the colors and the font family, I have the theme, uh, which again is like this part right here, and then the working area, and again the footer, so that's it um, for my CSS. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can find all the code that I'm going to be routing um, in the description box, I'm going to have two links. One for the code pen, so um, the exact code that I'm going to be uh, doing right now, I'm going to share it into my code pen. And the other link is going to be for the GitHub, because I know that some of you maybe don't use code pen, but maybe use GitHub. So you can download it from wherever you like, you can use it for free um, and stuff like that. Anyway, let's start writing. I'm going to leave some spaces here and let's start writing in the working area. So um, as I've already mentioned, I'm going to be doing something similar than Shopify. And the first thing that they had was an image. Now in order for us also to have an image, I'm going to be using the div of course. And then I'm going to be using the layout equals row and layout align equals center and center. Now I know that this is center and center because I'm following the angular JS material guide and we use this kind of stuff if we want to center something and if we want to have them in, in a row. Now inside this div I'm going to have um, an image tag, okay, and here the only thing that I'm going to be using, or I think that the only thing I'm going to be using is the image, let me just copy and paste that. Okay, now maybe the image is quite big. So I'm also going to be using a class. I'm going to have this class inside the image. I'm going to name it top image. And let's write that also into our CSS after the working area. Uh, top image. I'm going to be using other images as well. So um, I'm not even sure if this is the correct name, but maybe we can change it later. 
I'm going to have a display block, a height of 200 pixels and the max width is going to be auto. I don't think I need anything else at the moment. So let's just keep rolling and we will see later if I need anything else. Now I'm going to have an H1 and here again um, I'm going to copy and paste the layout in the center because I want to have some text in the center. And now as for the text, um, I'm going to copy and then paste the same thing that I found in Shopify. Maybe I can also leave in the description box um, the things from Shopify or I mean the link. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with header 2. Again, I'm going to need to have my text in a row. This time the text will be okay. Let me paste it. This one. Maybe I'm also going to need to have some styling left and right. What do you say? Maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, let's add the style of padding 32 pixels just to give it some styling. And then I'm going to continue with the email. Now for the email, I'm going to create a new div. And inside here, I'm going to have a span maybe. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that one, but let's just keep it for now. Inside here, I'm going to need um, a label. And let's also close that label. And I'm going to be using email. Another thing here is that maybe you could consider not using a div, but using an empty container. And that's how you're going to do the same thing as AngularJS material proposes. But I would like to use the div so I can style it on my own. Anyway, after the label, I'm also going to have the um, input. For the input, since we are using um, an email, I'm going to do the type of email. And then I guess I'm also going to be needing my ng model. I'm not going to write the ng model, but we do need to have something like this. Let's say user.email. Okay, and now I think thing that I'm going to write a class for that email because I don't really like how this thing uh, looks. And outside of this, I'm also going to be using a layout row and layout align again to have this in the center. Okay, so now let's write that class, the email container. I'm going to CSS and after top image. Okay, so what do I need here? I think that I want this to be bigger and maybe I will give it a border radius because I want this to have like a radius and also a margin of 32 pixels. Usually I play with this kind of numbers like 8, 16, 32. I don't know why, but I prefer like this kind of numbers. Anyway, let's keep going with our email. We also need, after this input, we also need a button. For the button, I'm going to be using the MD button. Okay, and it's going to be like the type submit. Okay, and I want this to write something like uh, start free trial. It's the same as Shopify. And let me also have like a class. I'm going to be using a class that I think that I've also used in my previous tutorial. If you haven't watched that, I would also encourage you to do so. You know, link in the description box. Uh, so far we have like submit and this class submit button, but we didn't wrote anything here. So let's also do that. I'm going to create this class. And what should I have here? Maybe I would like a color and 
for the color here you will need the important because otherwise it gets the values from the MD button and I would also like to have a border color and maybe also a radius to match our email container. I also think that I pretty much I want something more for my span and the input. Maybe again a border radius of 8 pixels and in general a border of 1 pixel and this nice color which is like a light green and it will be solid. I think that's enough for now. So let's keep going with our HTML. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at the, um, the landing page of Shopify and they also have um, another text right here. I'm going to copy it. Okay, and as usual, I need the layout on the center. Okay, that was easy. Now the next thing that we are going to do is add the big image that I um, show you just uh, when we were starting this video. So I'm going to be having a div and here I'm going to be having again the layout row with center and I'm going to create an image. Okay, that's it. Now, do I need a class or something? No, I think we are covered. So let's keep moving on. I'm going to create yet again another div. Now this div is going to have my three columns. So I will start this div with the layout row and center. Okay, or maybe this time I'm not going to use center, maybe because I'm going to have like the three columns, I'm going to have them as a space around, so they have some space between them. And I'm going to create um, another div. Oops. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that three times because I'm having like the three columns. And I'm going to be creating a new class. Maybe we will need that. Maybe even not. I don't know. Okay, class column. Sorry, bottom column. Let's write that into our CSS. Now, what do we need for this class? Well, I think that we need a bit just a margin and that's it. Again, I'm using eight pixels because I like this kind of numbers and I want to have some space between the columns. I've already found some images that I like to be using. So it's going to be like this, an image, then I'm going to have a line and then I'm going to take the same thing as they have on the Shopify page, but I'm going to have this one with B, then again a break line and then the text. So it's going to be looking like this. Now I only have one column, so it takes the whole place. But if I do this like three times, let me show you how it's going to look like. Okay. Great. So it's going to be looking something like this. We might be missing something and that might have to do with images. We also need something extra here. So I'm going to create the bottom columns and image with a height of 64 pixels and with the width again 64 image, 64 pixels. Now I think it looks great. So that's it guys, that's how you can create a landing page uh, using AngularJS and Angular Material. Again, if you need the code, just go to the description box and you can find it below. Also remember to import in your CSS the Angular Material from here, from the CSS, if you're using Codepen 
or in the JavaScript you can pretty much use um, this kind of stuff. You don't need everything, but I'm just using them just to be faster. Um, yeah, so I hope that you like this video. If you have any ideas or in general, if you want me to code anything, leave a comment below. It will be really helpful for me. Also, I always appreciate your feedback. So if you have any ideas on how I can improve this page, just again, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I wish you to code something amazing um, and see you really soon. Bye, guys.